My name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Greff Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! Electric vehicles have several factors that can impact overall range. Some of these factors are within the driver's control, but some are not. The factors that can help range are categorized as the three T's, terrain, temperature, and technique. Looking at terrain, a vehicle driven on flat roads gets more out of a charge than a vehicle driven on hills or in mountains. Ambient temperature is another factor. Temperature extremes, either hot or cold, can reduce the amount of available energy and increase the amount of power used by the climate control system. Spark EV's battery is equipped with an active thermal management system to help protect the battery from temperature extremes. But hot and cold temperatures will still have some impact on the overall range. The last factor is technique, which drivers have the most control over. When driving an electric vehicle, it's important to use a gentle driving style that helps conserve energy to help get the most out of a charge. Avoid quick starts and hard stops. These actions use more energy than smooth and slow starting and stopping. Spark EV's efficiency gauge is a very helpful tool to help improve your driving style. If the green ball turns yellow and moves above or below the center of the graph, you're driving too aggressively. Try to keep the ball centered in the graph. Plan for decelerations and coast whenever possible. Like with a gas-powered car, racing stoplight to stoplight takes much more energy than driving slow and steady. Also, coast in drive rather than shifting to neutral. The vehicle recovers some energy when coasting in drive, but not when coasting in neutral. Also, avoid high-speed driving. An EV is most efficient at speeds of 50 miles per hour or below. Higher speeds will use more energy and significantly reduce range. It also helps to keep your speed steady. Use cruise control when conditions allow. Spark EV has a sport button that when pressed provides more responsive acceleration. While a great feature to have under the right conditions, driving in sport mode reduces efficiency. Limit use of sport mode for maximum efficiency. In addition, when the battery charge is low, sport mode is not available at all to help conserve power. Like Volt, Spark EV includes an L position on the transmission selector. When in L mode, regenerative braking is increased and the vehicle requires less brake pedal application, which provides a controlled, efficient way to slow the vehicle down, using less energy. Climate control usage also has a significant impact on overall range. Using the heat and air conditioning systems decreases the energy available for electric driving. Optimal energy efficiency is achieved with the heat, air conditioning, and fan turned off. Operating with the temp button off is the most energy efficient climate setting, as long as the defroster is not selected. Use the heated seat feature instead of climate settings. Heating the seat uses less energy than heating the vehicle interior. Precondition the vehicle by using remote start to heat or cool the interior when the vehicle is plugged in to maximize the electric range by utilizing electricity from the electrical outlet. The precondition operation heats or cools the interior depending on the last temp setting on the HVAC system. In hot weather, avoid parking in direct sunlight or use sunshades inside the vehicle. It takes a lot of energy for the air conditioning system to cool the vehicle down. Be sure to turn off the front and rear window defog defrost when they're no longer needed. And avoid driving with the windows open at highway speeds. Also, like with gas-powered cars, excessive weight and rooftop-mounted carriers will have a negative impact on overall range. I hope that video presentation is your confident on how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.grafguru.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.